Hello YouTubers, welcome back my friends, thank you for tuning in and welcome on my channel. So in this video I'd like to show you capacitors that I'm using inside of my magnetic pulsers. Let me start with a second model, second generation pulser and this is the size, the capacitor. Uh, the size of the capacitors. This is the third generation. They used two of these. Some models use two, some models use three of these. This is 1200 microfarad, uh, 350 volts capacitors. Uh, the fourth generation model used two of these capacitors. These are 330 microfarad, 350 volts and uh, two of them are used in a capacitor bank. Uh, currently I don't have a proper nominal for this capacitor but these are um, capacitor from the fifth generation. I'm out of stock actually from the correct um, one but this is uh, the size that was used in and currently being used in a fifth generation pulser. Uh, this this is a 3,300 microfarad, 500 volt, uh, and there's two of them being used uh, for the fifth model. This is from the sixth model, sixth generation uh, pulser that it, that's capable of producing about 3.9 tesla, and two of these capacitors used uh, in that model, they're connected in series and getting charged to about 1300 volt and let me show you this voila this is the huge one capacitor that can be charged to 2000 volt and um, this is a something new that I will be testing out um, testing a high voltage uh, pulsers and this is gonna be seven generation um, pulser that capable that's capable of generating probably around six uh, Tesla from my estimate uh, but we'll see uh, right now uh, I'm just estimating this uh, this capacitor is only in 800 microfarad but the the cool thing about it is I can charge it to 2000 volt and that's a big that's a big number and uh, just because I'm not connecting two capacitors in series I'm expecting to get pretty good current output out of this capacitors and hopefully this will compensate for uh, low capacitance and by charging it to about 2000 volt I should be able to get uh, around 6 tesla from my 3 inch coil so wish me luck this is a big and dangerous uh, capacitor to play with I'll be honest gotta be very careful working on this it's not 160 volt anymore and it's not 900 volt anymore this is a 2000 volt and so we'll see how it performs just so that you can compare it size of my BB impulsor units I'm gonna show you from the top see how much larger it is and another comparison is a fluke meter so I'll just lay it next to it and you can tell how much larger this capacitor so if I would have measured it it would measure to be about 13 and a half inches and 
around five and a half inches in diameter. Um, this capacitor doesn't have positive or negative. I can charge it either way, which is a cool thing, but all right guys, wish me luck. Let me know what you think about this big beast and um, stay tuned for my future videos showing um, this uh, capacitor connected into circuit and uh, operating. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.